the five biggest virtual augmented and mixed reality trends in 2022. We use the combined term of extended reality as the catch-all phrase that covers virtual reality, mixed reality and augmented reality. And in its very simple term, virtual reality involves putting on a headset to enter a fully immersive 3D digital environment. AR involves using a phone or glasses to overlay computer images on top of the real world and MR is a bit of a combination of both technologies. So what I want to do in this video is to look at the key trends in the extended reality space in 2022. The first one is XR and the metaverse, sometimes also called Web 3.0 or social media 2.0. The metaverse is a concept that is the focus of a lot of excitement right now. We've just seen Facebook changing its name and rebranding itself to Meta to focus on the metaverse. And Meta's focus on VR aspects, especially through its hardware brand Oculus, mean that it is likely to be a core feature. Then we have 3D environments, avatars and gamification, three fundamental aspects of the metaverse, which all fit really well with virtual reality interfaces. And augmented reality too, with its potential to blur the distinction between the virtual and the real world, is another idea that meshes well with the metaverse concept. So in 2022, we, we should see the release of Meta's Horizon platform, giving people their first taste of what the metaverse could become. And VR will be a, win a window through which we will experience it. My second trend is more advanced headsets and hardware. Like any technology, the hardware to access virtual and augmented reality is getting smaller and more powerful. As well as lighter VR headsets, AR devices will also get lighter too. California startup Mojo Vision has already demonstrated the potential of AR contact lenses that will project in, uh, information directly onto your retina. We also see many new features like eye tracking technology that lets us control interfaces with eyeball movement. This has already been introduced by HTC in their Vive Pro eye headset and we can expect um, new advances in this space coming along. Other innovations will attempt to solve the problem of enabling realistic movement with virtual environments, uh, which will always be a problem if, if your actual environment doesn't match the size and proportion of your virtual one and there are no hazards in the way. So the proposed solutions to this problem include both boots as offered by Ecto VR and treadmills like the one developed by Virtuous. Technology known as haptic feedback will attempt to solve the problem of providing sensations of touch in XR environments. One example is the Tesla suit that provides tactile feedback through electrostimulation. The suit currently costs $20,000 and among other users it's used by NASA for astronaut training, but we can ex uh, expect to see smaller scale consumer versions of this technology in 2022. We will see a massive boost in XR in the retail space. The retail industry is going through huge changes both online and offline and both offer plenty of opportunities to innovate with XR technologies. In online retail, VR solutions can be used to create more engaging and immersive shopping experiences. Customers can try on things like jewelry or clothing using digital avatars and engage in engage with personal shoppers using virtual avatars. In brick and mortar stores, augmented reality technology can help customers find what they're looking for on the shelves, provide additional information, and even virtual mirrors that allow customers to try on many different items without having to get changed 
or even actually touch any products. Then we will see XR and 5G coming together. 5G will give us faster access to the internet, making wireless and cloud-based VR and AR a possibility. Plutosphere, for example, and other startups offering similar services let users stream VR games from cloud servers, eliminating the need for users to own expensive gaming PCs in order to enjoy home VR. This will dramatically lower the barriers to entry for many businesses wanting to deploy XR solutions without making large infrastructure investments. We will also see an explosion of XR in training and education. I believe providing more immersive, engaging and in many cases safer educational opportunities will be one of the biggest growth areas of XR technology in 2022 and beyond. Education, especially adult education and training, is increasingly happening online and remotely. And XR technology make it easier for students to visualize concepts from numbers in the, account, in, in the accounting world to historical events or even the inner workings of quantum physics. Evidence suggests that when you learn through experiencing in a way that you can now do in VR and AR, rather than simply reading dry facts, we can improve our knowledge retention by 75 to 90 percent. And VR can also be used to train and simulate operating in dangerous situations, such as the flame system used to train firefighters to tackle wildfires and aircraft fires. And augmented reality is increasingly being used to provide real-time inputs to trainees during an on-the-job training, um, such as using computer vision equipment, um, in, in glasses, for example, or headsets that are able to recognize and warn of potential dangers in the work environment. If you want to learn more about any of these super exciting topics and XR, check out my book, Extended Reality in Practice, the 100 plus amazing ways virtual, augmented and mixed reality are changing business and society. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.